Well, we're off to get the phone. I'm leaving Denver to go to Colorado Springs. Try to hopefully get a tram to get my phone. <laughs> I just want it back. I don't really know what else to say. I'm in sort of a blah, 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 blah kind of place because last night sucked. But it'll be okay, you know, positivity and all that. It'll it'll be okay. Get my phone back. At least I know where it is and that people know I'm coming to get it. They're not going to give it to anybody else. I'm just really afraid that I'm going to have to walk back up that hill again to get my phone. And then walk back down. That'll take all day. Please let there be an opening on a tram. Come on. Okay. I'm wearing my, my Ireland. See that? It says Ireland hat. No, I have not been to Ireland. But my friend went over the summer. Shout out to you, Kelly. Hey, thanks for that. It's very nice. I'd love to go to Ireland someday, though. That'd be cool. Yeah. Supposedly, I have. No, I don't. My ancestors, people from long ago, were from Ireland. But I don't think I know anybody there now. I don't think we have any family left in Europe that I know of. Unless they're like super distant, half related, removed, ten times or something like that. I don't even know what being removed means, but I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know. But, yeah, I don't think any McQuarts that I am related to are in Ireland anymore. My family came to the United States long time ago. And there it went. So, the world is a much better place now, you know, you know, because I have Here it is. Boba Fett is here. He's doing a twirl. He's up, around the head, and bam. Boba Fett! Yes! Life is good again now that I have my phone. Nobody has to worry that I'm dead somewhere anymore. <laughs> but yeah, I hiked, well, I am in a little, you know, abandoned sitting car thing actually pretty cool waiting for the train to come back down so I can catch it to go down um, two trains have gone by going up so far but uh, none yet going down that's okay it's not supposed to be here till like 245 anyway so it's only two right now so I've got a bit of time to wait and it's actually very nicely insulated in here Oh, so I'm so warm because there is a chilly breeze out there and I forgot to bring my coat. This has been like the 24 hours of grace for getting things. First I leave my phone halfway up a mountain, then I left my ring. See, it's not there. It's not there. Somewhere. I, I don't know where that is. Good thing it wasn't this one. The other one was like five bucks. It wasn't, it wasn't really sad. Well, I mean... It had been on my finger for like years, so I had an emotional, oh, I have a tan line. You can't see because the sun is blurring out well. Maybe, can you see it? I have like a little bit of a tan line from where that ring is, was. <laughs> oh, well, and then I left my jacket in my car. Yeah, so after this, I'm thinking sand dunes. Go check out the Colorado sand dunes. I hear they're pretty nifty. And, oh, we're getting some lunch. <laughs> I, in my hurry this morning, I forgot to eat breakfast. And then I hiked three miles. So I am starving. I need food. And I didn't pack any. There's no food in this backpack. Mm, hungry. Good thing I'm taking the train down and not walking because I don't think my stomach could handle it. It'd be like, no, Grace, Grace, you haven't fed me today. How dare you make me do exercise? I don't know why I didn't think to eat my Cheerios either. They're sitting 
in the passenger seat, you know, right, right next to me. Do I think, do you need my Cheerios? No. I slept great in my Wookiee onesie, it just, my legs were killing me all night. Um, but I still managed to sleep okay, that's probably just how tired I was. <laughs> me tired is the worst way you want me to deal with a situation. Nothing, no productive thoughts happen in my brain when I am tired and something has happened. Like I can be tired and play video games, I can be tired and read, I can be tired and daydream, but tired and you give me some sort of difficult task to do? No. Especially if I get frustrated when I'm tired, like just things aren't going right, nothing's going right, and uh, you know, there's just that festering feeling of, ah, why? <sighs> I was happier in my Wookiee onesie. More specifically, Chewbacca, because he has the belt. You know, I don't know, I don't think... I don't think all Wookiees wear the strap across belt. But don't quote me on that. Okay. Just... I like Star Wars. Just, this doesn't mean I'm not a Star Wars fan. I have Boba Fett on the back of my phone. And I annually in the summer try to have a Star Wars marathon where I watch all six movies in one day. It's glorious. <laughs> it's... <sighs> It's a wonderful day. You just sit, you enjoy Star Wars. I watch them um, plot-wise order, not fourth to third. I watch, I guess, fourth as in it being the first one, okay? Fourth plot-wise. I watch from first to sixth plot-wise, not four through six and then one through three. I just, I like the plot to be cohesive. Yes, the later ones are better, but then you save them for last. And you get to leave on such a beautiful note. Like, oh, the universe, it's been saved with good acting. <laughs> Though the special effects in the first three are really cool. That's what I mainly watch the first three for. Like the plot reasons and the special effects. And I do like the pod racing. I'm sorry for those of you who don't like the pod racing. I think it's really cool. I like the pod racing part. I brought a book with me. It's actually a pretty, pretty thick book. Um, how many pages are you? Oh, you are so many pages. <laughs> but it's weird. It's, uh, I'm only on like the first chapter because I wasn't reading for very long. I didn't have to wait for a train for very long because I got there right when they were boarding and then I got on on the last minute because someone didn't show. Yay! <laughs> Never been, so oh, I have a bookmark! What is this from? Second Wind. This must have just been in the book when I got it because I got this from a super thrifty, stale book extravaganza thing that happened in Olathe and I bought like six books. <laughs> Pretty sure I brought all of them. Oh my hat! Along with me. Come back here, Ireland. Stay on my head. Don't get too dirty. I like you. Stay. Okay. It reminds me vaguely of Indiana Jones because it's about these researchers going to Israel and finding this long forgotten tomb that nobody was ever supposed to go into and then they're like chased by something. It sounds like they're being chased by something mythological-ish, you know, like a spirit or something. It's very like Christ, in, like religious artifact, like the artifact they're looking for is something that was handwritten by Christ, so they're uh, trying to find it and supernatural shit happens, so. It sounded interesting. Ooh. There's stuff in some language. Hebrew. It's Hebrew, apparently. An archaic form of Hebrew. I think my phone just died. So, yeah, but it's okay. I texted my mom before it died. She knows I have my phone. She knows I'm good.
Oh, it's still chilly in the car. I went to my coat. I wish I had some chalk. So it looks like people were writing on the train thing with chalk. I wonder, do I have a good pen, a Sharpie? I do! I have a Sharpie. I should write something. What shall I write? Oh, maybe that's why I have black all over my fingers. Oh, uh, did you explode? Oh, I think something exploded in here. What was it? These pens. They're good pens. They're drawing specific pens and they're awesome. They work so well. I don't know, but there's ink everywhere. Like, look at this. Look at that. It's so dirty. It's a good thing I have big hands so I can hold all my pens. Well, I don't know which one exploded, but one of them leaked ink. You inked! Aw, oh, guys, you made me ink. I'm all dirty. Dirty. But I should try to find my place and mark it with my bark bark. See, uh, look, it looks like it is the first page of the first chapter is where I'm at. Ooh, my legs. My legs have the goosebumps. Ugh. But look, I'm wearing Halloween socks. Ooh. This is Halloween. This is Halloween pumpkin scream and I play Death Night. Kind of want to go through and watch all those Tim Burton movies. You know, like Coraline, Corpse Bride, uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh, there's more. Oh, well, Dark Shadows is good, even though it's not a claymation one. Um, Johnny Depp is always brilliant, so. I don't know. I need Shannon here. Shannon knows, like, all of them. I don't remember. Okay, you're going to block the wind for me. Yep, just, just block it just a little bit, okay? I was going to write something. <laughs> I completely forgot. Uh, where'd my Sharpie go? There it is. <laughs> I was going to write something on the wall. Uh, what should I write? I could always do the typical Grace was here. Um, oh, don't touch my shirt. My shirt is white and you have leaky ink stains all over you. This this bunch of hair keeps getting in my face. It's, it's detaching from the braid. See. <laughs> I need a bobby pin. I need it to go like up and and, and back ish right, right down there. Let it it just likes to be in my face. It's a friend, a little friend that is attached to me. You need to go back over there, please. Pulls, pulls go back into the braid, just or at least out of my face. Thank you. I'll just try to stuff you in the hat and see if that works. Temporary success. Oh, oh legs. Oh, my legs. Oh, jeez. Oh, they stiffened up. Oh, okay. Nice boob shot, Grace. Okay. Um. Sorry. I thought I heard the train. It's not. Okay. You see what I wrote? Yes. Yes. Hey, can you see it? Hold on. Oh, I blocked it. I blocked it. Can you see it? I think so. If you can't see what it says, oh, let's try that. Um, my, can you see it? Can you see it? It says, you are sitting on grace. Please enjoy your stay. 10, 3, 15. You know, people should have a personalized sitting experience. You're like, oh, I'm sitting on grace. Grace used to sit here. Grace was here. <gasps> it's like you're sitting with me. It'll be a glorious time for someone, I'm sure, as long as they don't ever get rid of these wooden seats. <laughs> Ooh, I want the train to get here. I'm cold. I think I forgot the G in sitting. I definitely did. You are sitting on Grace. <laughs> sitting. Ah, we're a sitting. I guess I could edit my other video while I wait. That's probably a good idea, actually. I should do that. Okay, bye.
tonight. Oh, I don't think I've recorded any night driving yet. Delicious. Well, it was McDonald's, but it filled my belly and it was nice. Can't see because it's dark and I'm not putting on a light because that will detract from my driving skills. But yeah, I was also trying to upload a video at McDonald's, but McDonald's Wi-Fi sucks. It got to 26% and it just stopped. It's like, no, yeah, no, we've uploaded enough today. Come on, a light, but that's, that's kind of dangerous. Is it dangerous? I don't know. I mean, I still see fine. It might just be weird that I'm driving along with a light on. Everybody in the other cars can see me now. Ooh, there's a bright light. I wonder if it's illegal to drive with a light on. I have actually no idea. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I should turn it off though. Go away. Sorry. Sorry. I just, I don't think I should be driving with a light on. Keep left at the fork. Follow signs for Colorado 47 East. Then use any lane to turn slightly left onto Colorado 47 East. What? Use Wait, why am I going east? I thought I had to go west. Apparently it's east, not west. Alrighty. Apparently I'm going east. And I'll go west tomorrow. Okay, I've been recording for a while. I should turn this off. Probably won't record again tonight, so good night everybody. Sweet dreams.